It's getting darker outside while a storm is brewing. Shall we speak of a scary movie? We will, because you clicked on this video, so you should, yeah, you should probably know what I'm talking about. Cue title scene. The Quiet Ones is a horror movie starring Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes' A Game of Shadows, Trident Guy from Hunger Games Catching Fire, and some chick from Bates Motel. And to be perfectly honest, of the movies opening this weekend, this seems to be the smallest. There doesn't really seem to be a lot of people talking about it, not a lot of interest, not a lot of hype. It all seems to be going to that piss-poor abomination I talked about yesterday. But to be perfectly honest, if you do get the chance to see this movie, give it a shot. I'm, yeah, that's even a shock for me. I'm not a big horror fan. I imagine if you're not a horror fan either, you probably won't care for this movie. But I actually thought it was creepy and kind of witty. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, let's just get this out of the way right now. It does seem like what a lot of people are saying is true. There are way too many jump scares, a lot of cheap scares, a lot of really loud, really annoying things. But even though, yeah, that really hurts the film, it's actually got a lot going for it. First up, the story. Essentially, the way it works is Sherlock Holmes' villain guy plays a scientist who's planning on, you know, either proving the existence of ghosts or disproving them. You have to see that part for yourself. And essentially, he has his college students following him, which is where, you know, Finnick falls in. And he's basically going to take this girl who claims to be haunted by a ghost, and her, his theory is that he can cure her illness by, like, using telekinesis or psychic powers to move the illness to another sh shop. Yeah, it doesn't fully make a lot of sense. But, what does really sell this film, not only that, the, the premise is interesting, and it's presented in a very nice, logical, creepy way. And what's interesting about it is definitely our actors really bring this. Finnick is amazing in this movie. I really believed his character. I saw him. He's just basically the college student who's following the professor with a camera, you know, t taping everything. And don't worry, this isn't found footage. There's a couple found footage elements in it. But honestly, that part actually I thought worked better than it didn't say paranormal activity. It brought creepiness to it. It brought legitimacy to it. It made me fearful for what was going on. But again, every scene would then get ruined by a jump scare, sadly. But, as far as, like, the rest of the acting goes, really good. Our professor, he's a little cheesy and over-the-top at times, but you can definitely tell he's having fun with this. You know, his character is very interesting to follow. As you wonder, are his motives what they seem? Is there more to him? Is there less to him? And as you go through the story, you really want to know. The Bates Motel girl, she's like, what, 10, 11 it looks like? She was excellent in this movie. I bought her character. I understood what she was going through. I felt scared for her. I felt creeped out when things happened creepy with her. I really thought everyone brought their A-game to this, which is hard because it's a smaller movie. It's not like The Conjuring where you have a big budget horror fest, and it's not like other like more popular horror indie movies where you have that camp factor to it. It's its own little film. It's not trying to be anything more. It knows what it is, and it's trying to have fun with itself and enjoy it. And you know what? Even though I'm not a big horror fan, and I don't recommend this to anyone who isn't a horror fan, if you've got to go to the movies this weekend, see Locke. You know, just avoid that awkward, the, the, I don't even know anymore. But you know what I do know? This movie is 6 out of 10 on the horror movie scale. It's not a big scare. It doesn't really have too many scary moments. And yeah, there's a lot of cheap jump scares. But you know what? It's creepy. And it really gets a creepy tone in and has some nice acting. And what would you like to see some nice acting in? In the comment sections below, let's do something interesting. Let's see what your favorite cheesy horror movie is. That silly, ridiculous one that you can't help but love. Because we all got a couple of those. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe. Because hopefully next time it's going to be brighter in here.